Welcome back. So in here, let's style this uh, section a little bit more. So let's go to our profile.php, the view profile.php. And there's this div at the top here with 300 pixel minimum height. So what we will do here, because it goes all the way to the end here, let's give it a fixed width. So let's say max width max width will be uh, let's try a thousand pixels let's do margin auto as well so that uh, it can be in the center okay that's much better now let's look at the container of this one which could be this one or that one so let's try this one let's just give it a style so we can see it a background color i will just put black there is only for visibility's sake okay so there it is it's a nice box there so i'm just going to inspect the element a click on it and change the background color to whatever color that i feel is better okay i think i can change it to something like uh, eee -E -E, just off white and then let me do a text align for center. Let me add a box shadow just a little bit. Box shadow, zero pixel, zero pixel, and then maybe 20 pixels and then a very grayish color. There we go. Border solid thin let's try the ddd so these are all just simply gray colors a little bit oh there we go okay so you can style as needed that's entirely up to you and let's add a few buttons down here edit and delete so that we can edit or delete the account so i'm going to use what's already here uh let's try this is one row here right hmm. so if i duplicate this i'm going to get another row and then i could remove either of these i think we'll do since they are all just p based so let's say instead of this one i'm going to say edit and use capital letters and this one i'm going to say delete delete okay uh, that uh, actually works surprisingly well so edit and delete so maybe i could put a um, a horizontal rule here just to separate these two and i'll put a style let me just reduce its opacity to 0.3 like that that should do the trick i actually can't see it anymore let's try the original one Oops, so I guess there are some styles here that are affecting this opacity. Or oh, let's say color. Let's try that. Oops, I guess uh, that isn't working for some reason. Anyway, we'll find out why that isn't, but at least we have our buttons here, which is good. Let's just add. Um, a cursor pointer here so let's add some styles as well cursor pointer pretty good so i want us to be able to edit this without going to another page just uh, click edit and then the edit thingy comes down here and then we can edit or click delete same thing so we will be using some ajax in here okay so pretty good so far so good maybe i can even change the colors a little bit here but uh, 
this is not critical stuff because this is just uh, some styling. Let's try this for our delete. And try color. For the delete, and let's try something greenish. I don't know here. I'll try just as long as it's something else for the edit. Okay. Much better. Okay, so edit, delete. And if you're good with uh, Font Awesome, you can add your icons right there because Font Awesome is available with this thing. So pretty much if, for example, on edit here, I want to add something i can let, let's do that real quick just for this edit thingy we'll add our class name and we're going to say font awesome font awesome edit i think that's the one if i am not mistaken okay that's much better and of course we need a little space between these two Okay, so you can find another icon for delete there. All right, so you get the idea. Now, one more problem before uh, we move on is that if the user data is not available here, we should get some errors. So let me go to the controller for profile. And I'm simply going to remove the user data here. And let's try and refresh. So you will notice that now we get all these undefined errors because... Uh, the user does not exist the user data so what we will do now is to account for that when the user data does not exist we simply uh, send the user somewhere else so we can do that by modifying the check login uh, function so we're going to add a parameter here for true or false if we want the user to be redirected if they are not logged in or not. So let's put true here for our redirection. The default will be false. So if you don't want a redirect, just leave it empty like that. But if you want a redirect, put true. And so we have to account for that inside the user class. So let's go there on check login function. So let's um, say redirect in there so that we can check for it if redirect then we redirect so at this point return result means we did find a result but return false means we did not so at this point we can just check if redirect then we redirect and so we're going to say header location and at this point we will put the root and then we will say login that is our link and then we will die so that we have a clean break there okay so let's try again bam this is uh, fine and dandy but let's log out actually we haven't did I create the logout page definitely oh I did so log out so uncaught argument, too few arguments for check login. Oh, my bad. I should assign it a default value there. So there we go. Refresh again. There we go. So we've been logged out and we can't see the profile anymore. And if we actually type profile, we are sent to the login page. So that's uh, pretty good. But on the home page, we are not sent to the login page, even though it, we are not actually logged in so let's try and log, log in this time and we are back to normal we can go to our account and we see that there is the admin here so we can click admin and go to the admin page so doing great so far so good we will continue in the next video